Good morning everyone. It's 6:45 a.m. and look at the beautiful view we have woken up to today morning. The first rays of sunlight illuminating the snow-clad mountains. And those scattered sun rays look absolutely divine. So it's time for breakfast and we have aloo paratha with achar, maggi and some chai. onions coriander red chilies and potatoes in fact i have to say since we have come here to himachal this is the best paratha i have tried and you would think that at such a height these people wouldn't have ingredients to make some good food but they have anything and everything that you want Also at such a height you have a supermarket which is fully loaded with personal care products cosmetics and food items of different brands So we are going again to the hot water spring for a bath and maybe also go to the temple which we missed yesterday So we both took a nice bath in the hot water spring and now we are going to the Shiv temple So if you can see this is the place uh, where uh, the Kiriyanga hot water spring originates though they say it originates as at a point which is uh, hundreds of kilometers from here that's what the locals say So if you see the water has white particles in it because of which it gets its name Kiriyanga So the origin story of Kiriyanga is that Lord Kartikeya who is the son of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati and brother of Ganesha lost to Lord Ganesha in a competition and got angry and came here for meditation Goddess Parvati followed him here and out of concern for her son made a river of kheer or rice pudding flow from this area so that Kartikeya would have a source of food during his meditation after few years Lord Parshuram decided to turn the kheer in the river to water fearing that it would lead to lot of clashes and fights in kalyug and it is believed that the white particles that you see in the water is the residue of that kheer so this is one of the many stories about kheer ganga this version was told to us by the staff at the trekking camp so that's the hot water spring where we went to for a dip before coming to the temple and that's where you have a cave where kartik swami used to meditate you can also hike a bit and visit that cave So the temperature at night had dropped to 7 degrees Celsius but we were well insulated in those tents and had a really nice sleep. That's our campsite. Beautiful array of colors. Multiple shades of green. Some white with the snow-clad mountains. The gray of the rocky hills. and these colorful tents Hi everyone so we are uh, staying at Kirganga trekking camps at uh, the top of Kirganga and we will just talk with the owner and get some details about uh, this camp from them so, Aapka camping site badhiya tha khana bahut acha thank you especially raat ka jo anda curry tha bahut zai bana tha 
और यहाँ पे कैसे क्या क्या, क्या ऑप्शंस मिलते हैं आपके यहाँ पे कैसे कैसे कैम्प से मतलब कितने लोगों के लिए जैसे हमारे पास ज़्यादा कर थ्री हंड्रेड जैसे बड़े बड़े ग्रुप भी आते हैं तो उसमें जैसे आपका थ्री हंड्रेड हो गया टू फिफ्टी हो गया टू एटी हो गया तो जैसे कॉलेज का ग्रुप हो गया ओपीस का ग्रुप हो गया तो ऐसे मैक्सिमम हमारे पास आपकी थ्री फिफ्टी लोगों की कैपेसिटी थ्री फिफ्टी की कैपेसिटी ये ऊपर का आपका है और ये नीचे का भी आपका है पूरा नीचे तक ही हमारा है एकदम नीचे तक जाता है वो नीचे बैक साइड जगह हाँ आप कब से चला रहे हैं ये जगह ये मैक्सिमम दो हजार आपके आठ से स्टार्ट है बहुत साल हो गए ये ये वही कैम्प साइड है क्या मैं लास्ट टाइम रुका था ना यहाँ पे एक लकड़ी का ऐसे बॉर्डर बनाया हुआ था से बनाया हुआ था तो मैं इधर ही रुका था पाँच साल पहले फिर <laughs> तो यहाँ पे एक टेंट आ, कितने कितने कैपेसिटी वाले टेंट है यहाँ पे ज्यादा आपका मतलब एक टेंट में दो लोग रह सकते हैं चार का बढ़िया सर्विस था आपका और बहुत अच्छा था टॉयलेट मेन मैं बताना चाहता हूँ की टॉयलेट यहाँ पे इंडियन और वेस्टर्न दोनों है जो बहुत जगह पे नहीं मिलता और टॉयलेट बहुत साफ था सो so, काफी बढ़िया था अच्छी रहनी चाहिए <laughs> जरूर जरूर थैंक यू सो मच भैया चलो सो यू कैन कॉल ऑन दिस नंबर इन केस यू नीड टू रिजर्व योर स्टे स्पेशली ओवर द वीकेंड्स सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेल्व एंड वी आर लीविंग होपफुल द डिसेंट विल टेक लेसर टाइम बिकॉज वी टुक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू रीच द टॉप सो वी कम्प्लीटेड द ट्रैक यस्टरडे वी टुक सेवन एंड हाफ आवर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ फाइव और सिक्स आवर्स एंड बिकॉज वी हैड टू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ ब्रेक्स and vaishnavi was doing this uh, doing a trek for first time she had not done even a simple uh, half a day trek so despite that she completed the trek so that's a great thing and uh, she was cursing me all the way but i think she liked it when she came up here so what do you think of this trek now there is still descent right we have to yeah. climb down but total totally. scared to descend but the trek was really nice up here it is very good Everyone should come at least once. Once? Once. Okay. Are you proud of yourself? I am. Okay. <laughs> so will you descend in less than four hours? I can't say. Okay. We'll take lesser breaks. I'll try. Okay. Okay. Bye. So we climbed from that side, uh, near the stairs. Our camp was towards the left side of the spring, so we are. descending from this side and you are told that there is a way to descend from here as well so we'll save some time so last mental picture of the place a bit steep from here not worth bit in fact quite steep the trick is to move slowly not rush and the stick is definitely helping you to climb from there and we'll be meeting the original route somewhere down there and we have another friend joining us hi hi so we now got down from this place see you can see a local going up and uh, if you see this board it says easy and very safe way to kiranga yes that's an easy and safe way to kheer ganga and uh, our camp was towards the right side uh, the uh, kheer ganga trekking camps from there we took this uh, path down it's a bit steep it's comparatively uh, tricky than the straight path so if you want to uh, take this path this is also an option right So remember this spot which has a small waterfall and multiple cafes after this spot there are two routes to reach Barshani We came from that route over there uh and that connects you to Nakthan village route or Rudranag waterfall route and now we are taking this route because we want to uh, go from the jungle uh to avoid the sun as well as take a another route I believe it's best to you know take both the routes one while ascending one while descending so you get to see different uh, waterfalls different villages on both routes and have different experiences of ascending as well as descending so this route will go through the forest 
क्रॉस कालगा विलेज एंड देन वी विल एग्जिट आई थिंक फ्रॉम नियर द डैम सो वी आर गोइंग फ्रॉम दिस रूट नाउ What did you find? Find corn. It's used in popcorn. It smells good. So this is how the route from Kalga village is. It's uh, comparatively simpler as people say. It crosses the forest so it's covered with trees. There's a lot of shade. Look at the size of this rock. Fallen log. I think it has fallen recently. We have to pass it. Another broken log. This is a beautiful picture as Scroot and because of these tall pine trees you get a lot of shade. So we have reached near this waterfall. You can see we'll go close to it and even show you how it looks from a closer view. So you can hear the thundering sound of the waterfall amazing a bridge made out of wood and rocks So we spent some time near this waterfall. It's a great place to click some pictures. I think putting these railings in the route from Kalga is a good idea because it's quite steep from here. If you slip, you you will directly fall in the river. This was not there when I did the Kiriyanga trek five years ago, and this is going to be particularly helpful. when it rains or when there will be snow it has started to rain and the ponchos are out we came from down there and we were wondering how to cross this but uh there is another way You come across a patch where you think it is very difficult. Look around; there might be another way. A small uh, passage created due to this huge rock and the tree. Amazing. So it's been raining for quite some time and it's made the path the trekking route slippery and wet so we are going at a slow pace So it has rained quite a bit today definitely more than yesterday Okay, so we are close to Kalga now. That's some relief. So, if you can see, there is a wooden bridge there, which we'll have to cross 
and go all the way in this direction to reach Kalga. Wow, not sure where we will get off on the other side of that bridge because it's all rocky there. Okay, let's do this. So you can see the stream of water here flowing at full pace. Uh, this bridge is made up of wooden planks and you can surely see through the gaps. Honestly speaking, the bridge is quite sturdy and yes, it's rocky on the other side. But you just have to walk carefully, maintain your balance and avoid slipping. That looked difficult, but wasn't. And and the sun is shining again. It's almost fire since we started the descent. Okay, it's raining. The sun is out and it's still raining. How are you, Vaishnavi? That's Kalga village and we are just crossing the village, not entering the village completely. So this is Kalga village, we have to take this route. मैं बारिश नहीं के लिए ऐसे नीचे उतरना है। We are taking this longer but comparatively simpler route to reach बारिश नहीं। There was another route from that side, but we are avoiding it. And you can see the dam, so बारिश नहीं is quite close. Let's see how much time it takes. So we took the easy but a bit longer way to get down to Bashani. So we'll get down from there, take this road to the dam, cross the dam and reach Bashani. So we are near the dam. Uh, so that means that we have completed our trek. Uh, it's almost 6.20. We started around 12.20. So it took us 6 hours to reach the dam, which is the starting point of the trek. So yeah, we took around seven and a half hours uh, to climb to ascend. So it was expected that we'll take at least one, one and a half hour lesser than that to descend. We thought we will uh, get here in five hours, but it took us six hours. So we are rushing to catch the last bus to Kasol, which we understand is at 6.30 p.m. So this was the Kalga Pulga Tulga route, which we took for descent. So on reaching Barshani bus stop, we came to know that the last bus to Kasol leaves at 5 p.m. So please make a note of that. Hence we had to rent an auto from the bus stop, which cost us 900 rupees, which we split with another person, hence it costed 600 for both of us. Hope you liked our coverage of Kheer Ganga trek where we ascended from Nakthan village and descended from Kalga, bringing you an experience of both the routes. Please hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comment section which of the two routes you would like to take or just your views about our coverage. Until next time, this is Pratamesh signing off.